Hello and welcome back to SirKentSaid.com. Um, so I got these glasses as a gift from somebody and they are quite large. A lot bigger than what I'm used to and I ain't complaining. So thank you. Um, before I talk about tonight's review, let me get a few things off my chest. This only adds to my Thanos hate and belief of pe in people or in his fact of belief that half you motherfuckers got to go. Case in point, I went to go see Godzilla this weekend. Um, if your ass has tickets to a movie, at least try showing up five minutes early before the lights go off to find and place your ass in a seat. Because if you try and walk past me to get to your seat after the lights are off and I got my Reese's Pieces and my motherfucking uh, drink is Irish thanks to the uh, travel bottles of vodka that I got in it, um, whatever happens to you, happens. Okay, uh, just I see half you motherfuckers in the goddamn way in the goddamn lobby when I walk in, grab my shit, find my seat, and I, I get comfortable. And then after the lights go off, all of a sudden you want to come in there and try to find your damn seat. Fuck you, man. Damn. Anyway, okay, that was it. That's all I had to say about that. So let's talk about Godzilla minus one. This shit was epic. I mean, it may be a cultural thing, but back in my day, where I come from, we didn't have video games. You, basically, you had to get the fuck out of the house over the daytime, especially in the summer. So my grandma used to give me bus fare, send me down to the movie theater, and, you know, we see double features or triple features on the big screen. And it, that also included uh, the school year, they used to have Monster Week, so Godzilla, they showed Godzilla movies all week after school, and you would run from school to see Godzilla movies. So these type of movies um, hold a very special place in my heart, and at a cost of $15 million worldwide, this movie is already made $35 million. So it has far exceeded its expectations. And I strongly suspect that come Monday, it'll probably be the number one movie in the uh, States, uh, which will definitely give it room to have a sequel. And the way it ended, no spoilers, um, they can definitely do a sequel. Uh, $15 million is nothing. Remember that um, um, Godzilla vs. King Kong, produced by Warner Brothers, and I forget who else split it, um, cost, which wasn't bad, but roughly about $125 million. And granted, the effects in that were better. For $125, they better be better. But uh, just think about that shit. This, the effects in this movie were not bad at all. They were far above CW, and uh, people don't realize that they use a combination of stop motion puppets for Godzilla and CG. And I was looking a lot of times I couldn't tell. Now, were the effects great? No, no, they, they were not. Not for $15 million, but they are pretty damn fucking good. Um, it came from director Takashi Yamazaki. I said that right, um, who ha is a fanboy of Godzilla movies, and you can see the way he directed it, and it revolved around um, Rinosuke Kamiki and Minami Hamabi were the two main characters. Um, the dude, let's, let's leave it at that because I'm, I'm killing these fucking names and 
like the Japanese community is gonna like, just they just gonna break a boot off of like, my ass. I'm just gonna lay the pictures up. Um, the dude played a uh, kamikaze pilot at the end of the war who didn't do what he was supposed to. Basically, he chickened out at the last minute. Um, which brought great shame upon him and because of his mistake it cost him or it cost the lives of others who I won't get into but yeah when you back in those days if you don't know anything about your history and kamikaze pilots took off back in those days they had their last rites they made funeral plans they had absolutely no intentions on coming back because when they ran out of ammo, when they ran out of fuel, when they ran out of whatever, when they were too damaged to make the trip back, they purposefully aimed their planes at U.S. carriers, hence kamikaze pilots. So when this guy came back with not a scratch on him, people looked at him like, the fuck? So, yeah. And remember, this is right after... Um, Japan got that second nuke. So they're on the rebound. They're trying to recover. Um, they're trying to rebuild. Um, so, yeah, he kind of had to keep that fact to himself quiet. And when he met the chick, um, she had basically adopted a little girl whose family were killed because of the nukes. And, you know, the mother begged her to take her child. And, you know, like everybody else, she had next to nothing. So now she's this young woman who has the responsibility of a child. And she absolutely has no idea how to do this. And they cross paths. And um, instantly he's got a family. Um, the one thing I really enjoyed about this movie was the fact that there was an argument after uh, Godzilla versus King Kong. It's like, why do we even have people in these movies? Because nobody gives a fuck about them. I mean, you want to see Kong and Godzilla go at it. These, these people are like, just in the way, get the fuck on out of here. Show me your titties, bitch, and get the fuck on up out of here. Um, you gave many fucks about this couple. You gave many fucks about this little adorable girl. And when Godzilla came ashore, and by the way, there was there was no, oh, he's here to balance stuff out or do good. No, Godzilla was the problem. And yo, it's like, they didn't know it then. And even, even when we have knowledge and knowledge, Still try to kill him with nukes, motherfuckers. He lives off of nuclear power. Why would you? Anyway, um, Godzilla re represented a byproduct of the war. Not only do you have to deal with loss of life, property, whatever, but you have to deal with the unnatural side effects of said war, and that happens to be Godzilla in this case. So be prepared to care about these characters a lot more than you think you will. Um, at the end of the movie, I'm not giving this away. People were cheering when a certain person showed up. One dude shot straight up and was like, yeah! I was like, you better sit your skinny ass down. But uh, yeah, you will care about these characters a lot more than you think you would. And that is the one thing that I think this $15 million movie, remember $15, $15 million, $125 million, um, did exceedingly well. Um, the effects were good. Not great, good. And I cannot write. This is an instant classic. When this comes out on digital, I am totally buying this. Um, and I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Um, it is that good. And I cannot, I cannot recommend that you go see this movie on the big screen. When I went to Regal just now, they're starting to, um, I forget what it's called, but they're starting to project images on the sides that wrap around to the main screen now. 
and I forget what it's called. It's, it's kind of cool. It, it's going to take you some getting used to, but it's a way of them um, bumping up the entertainment rate, which I appreciate. I would appreciate fucking booze at all your theaters and recliners much more, but this is a step in the right direction. Um, anyway, those are my two thoughts, and I'll see you guys on the other side.